Hi guys, Kev here from Kevlar Gaming. In this video, we are going to be unboxing, installing, and reviewing the new Corsair IQ LC 100s. These are Corsair's brand new lighting panels, as you can see on the box there. They look very similar to the Nano Leaf panels you can get. However, these are a lot smaller. They fit inside your case, and obviously they're Corsair, so they'll be great to link up with all of your Corsair equipment and RGB that you've already got in your case, all linking up to the IQ software. So here I have got the starter kit. So we're gonna get this open, see what's in there, get it installed and see how it looks. Right, okay, so here we are. Let's see what we've actually got. Okay, well, uh, immediate response is they're actually quite a bit smaller than I thought. I thought maybe they were, uh, well, I don't know, maybe not double the size, maybe another half. Okay, so in the start pack, how many have we got? We've got one, two, three. We've got nine. So nine of the little panels. We've got a lighting node pro and a few cables. So USB cable and an RGB cable. Okay, obviously a warranty and a guide. I think that's it. Okay, it's actually is just a warranty, not, not instructions. Interesting, no instructions. Usually they have a little bit of uh, basic instructions on how to install, or is it here? Do we need to scan for that? There you go. So we have to scan for a product manual. I mean, to be honest, it looks pretty straightforward. I don't think we're gonna need that. Right, we'll have a closer look. Right, okay, so taking a closer look at the panels themselves, I'll just pull one off here. They're actually quite, quite good quality. Little Corsair logo on the back there. And then you've got these little hinges, all magnetic. So if I pull these apart, you can hinge them together in any sort of pattern where I said you can make 3D shapes. Obviously, what you can see I'm doing here is I'm making a bit of a shape there, so 3D triangle. You can just play around with what shape you want. And obviously, I think the idea as well, if you have it in your case, it can go around corners and things like that, which I plan to do. Okay, then in the pack, obviously there's one here which is obviously, the, I guess, the main one or the starter one that receives all the power and the instructions. So that's going to be the main one and they all connect off of that. So I think if you buy the expander kit, which is obviously cheaper and not the starter kit, this is probably the bit you don't get. You just get some extra panels. Looking at it, some of the hinges are larger than others. So we've got two different widths of the hinges here so I wonder if that's for if you I guess turning a uh, bigger corner interesting then looking else what's in here so I said this is obviously an RGB cable um, but it's an extension cable which is good so I guess if this little cable is not long enough to reach your hub or if you're putting your lighting no pro etc you've got an extension there which is cool and I'm assuming they're magnetic at the back so they can stick we'll find out soon and obviously you've got the not lighting node pro now again i'm assuming if you're buying the extender pack you don't get that lighting node pro okay i just want to double check so actually the expansion kit does come with this triangle with the power it just doesn't come with the lighting node pro so that's the only difference so the lighting node comes in the starter kit and the expansion kit does not come with this so technically there's a chance that if you've already got a lighting node where you've got a spare socket that you're not using, you only need the expansion kit, or if you've got one of the other Corsair commanders where you've got some of the LED slots in there, then you only need the expansion kit. You don't need to spend the full money on this one here with the Lighting Node Pro. So the difference in price, you've got £100 in the UK that is, so I think it's like $130 or something in the US. Um, so £100 for this kit here with the Lighting Node Pro and it's £20 cheaper, so £80 for the expansion kit. Which to be honest, I think in general a Lighting Node Pro you're probably looking at £30-odd. Pounds. So I think they should have really made that a little bit cheaper for the expansion kit. And in general I know £100 sounds like it is really expensive, which it is. It's expensive for a few little lights like this. But if you think about, if you have a look at what the 
nano leaf panels cost you know this sort of thing is expensive at the moment so 100 pounds compared to what the nano leafs are closer to 200 pounds probably for less panels although they yes they're a lot bigger and obviously there's slightly different technology in the fact that these go inside your case but yeah expensive but kind of what these sort of things cost so there there you go right so let's have a go at fitting it in the case right okay so here we are at the back of the case now i don't know if you've watched my videos before maybe my um installation of my lee and lee gpu and motherboard cables you may remember the back of my case the cable management was just an absolute mess because i've got so much rgb in this case it's stupid and i've got just way too many cables so i've just spent ages trying to tidy it up a little bit now obviously it's still chaos in there but it's a bit neater and a bit more organized the main reason is i had to get another sata cable in there because these corsair panels require sata power to the panels and then sata power to the new um, lighting node pro that i'm going to need to use like i said if you've got one of these not these ones i can't remember is this the core or the pro if you've got the corsair controller that's got the fans and the led slots then great you can plug it into that or if you've got a lighting node which i've got hidden behind there one of the lighting node pros already um, with a spare led slot great you can use that but mine's fully utilized. I've got my Lighting Node Pro there, which I've used for my LED strips at the front and for my Leon Lee cables. And then both of my Corsair Commander, I think it's the Commander Pro I've got, I can't remember what it's called. And um, these ones don't have the LED slots in it. These are the ones just for the RGB fans and the PWM fan slots. So I definitely need the new Lighting Node Pro. So that's why I had to make sure I've got an extra cable in there so let's install that first okay so that needs SATA power so let's stick that in there then I've got my USB cable for the lighting node so I need to plug that in plug that in there and I've got a USB hub down here so I can plug that into that just had a bad thought that um, when I did my lighting node pro here for my Leon Lee cables I had to plug that directly to the motherboard it didn't like being plugged into the hub um, it wasn't being recognized by the Corsair IQ so hmm, now I've just plugged this one into the hub I might have the same issue so I might have to swap some USB sockets around but we'll see okay next we've got our I guess the the main panel for our new lights so that's going to go in front of the case somewhere and then I need to feed these through to the back to plug into the lighting node and SATA power so we'll turn the case around and decide where we're going to put this right okay so we're in the case front of the case so my plan is I'm going to put these along here little pattern along here maybe some at the front maybe going down like that but anyway this one can be near the back so we'll feed these through around the back right okay just played around and fed that through let's plug it in right okay so where are they so we've got these cables here so the led cable is going to go into my led slot on here and we've got sata power to go into our sata power cable okay i'm going to um tidy that up a little bit off camera right okay i don't think tidy is the right word to use but i've stuck that new lighting node pro on here and tuck the cables away a bit so that's all in so let's go around the front and set up how we want our new panels to look right my hands are probably going to get in the way here a bit but let's see what i can do right i kind of want it going like that but I've just been playing around loads of how I want it. Uh, I think that's going to do for now. Now, interestingly, if we have a look at one of the triangles, so I think I might have showed this at the start. So these little like metal connectors are only on two sides. So I don't think you can connect them together on the side that doesn't have the connectors, which obviously makes sense. Why, why would you be able to do that? But why, why isn't it all the way around? it kind of limits you with the shapes you can do because i kind of wanted to maybe put one down here 
like that, but it's not going to connect because I've already got the two connector sides of that triangle connected elsewhere. That's a bit odd. Anyway, so we'll go with that for now. We'll get the PC all turned on and see, see what it looks like. Right, okay, here's the moment of truth. After all that fiddling around with the cables at the back and rewiring, let's hope it all turns on. Aha, it's on. And we have some lights going on our new panels. Excellent. Right, okay, I'm gonna sign into IQ and let's see if it's detected for me to be able to change the lighting. Right, okay, so going into IQ, as I expected, sadly, the Lighting Node Pro isn't recognized, so I, at the moment, I can't control my new panels, but for me, that's okay, because I usually keep it on this setting anyway, with the rainbow, and that's the default setting, so they're already doing the rainbow. And yeah, if I wanna get it working properly, I just need to swap out USBs on my motherboard. However, my motherboard has two USB slot and I can't obviously plug both my lighting node pros into those two because then there won't be one for my extension with all my other USB devices plugged in so at the moment I've got choice either control my Leon Lee streamers or control my Corsair panels which I have to have my Leon Lee streamers in there because if I don't have those plugged into the lighting node pro to the motherboard then I can't get them to match the rest of my system by Corsair but because the panels are already Corsair they already match anyway when you're on this rainbow setting so that's fine so there you go there is the new Corsair LC100 panels let's see if I can move them around okay so as expected yeah you can only control them or they can only work if they're linked using those little metal sections but good news is once they're in you can move them around as you wish so I can make different patterns if I want but there we go so there's some extra RGB in my ridiculously RGB'd up case uh, hope you enjoyed that hope you found it useful please do give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video cheers